Hello and welcome to ITC TechShare. Today I would like to feature the document camera that is available in many of our technology enhanced classrooms at Eastern Illinois University. To begin with, whenever you have a document camera in our classroom, we're typically using the Canon model, which is a little bit older now, but it still uh, functions quite well and does an excellent job. So to begin with, we need to make sure that we have the uh, cameras and the lights in the up position. So they're typically folded down uh, when they're not in use. So to begin with, I'm just going to fold up the light arm on the left and the right side. Then the camera arm, there is a switch, a little lever that you press, and then the camera raises up, so you raise that into the up position. And then the final thing is to make sure that the document camera is powered on. So there is a switch on the left hand side typically, it's clearly labeled for power. So we'll switch that to the on position. And once you have it powered on, you should see that the lights are lit up on the control panel on the document camera itself. Now we do have lights. Uh, they're off by default, but there is a light switch on the control panel, so if I do want the lights on, uh, you'll just have to use your judgment. Sometimes it's needed, sometimes it's not. There's also an exposure, so if you have something that needs a little bit more light, you can turn the exposure dial up a little bit to, to brighten the object. Uh, but we still have an issue. Um, right now, as you can see at the front of the room, we have the desktop computer, which is located inside of this podium. That is what is being projected up to the front of the room. But now then, I want to display whatever's on the document camera up to the front of the room. So in order to show you that, I'm going to use a little bit of EdTech magic. Still gives me chills every time that happens. Now that we're inside the podium cabinet, let's take a look at the main video switch box. You'll see that the green light is next to button number one, which is the main desktop tower unit. So that is what is to being displayed at the front of the room. If we had a laptop connected and we wanted to display the laptop screen, we would select button number two. And then today we're interested in displaying the document camera. So let's turn on switch number three. Now let's take a look and see what our students see at the front of the room. Now that we have the video switch on switch number three, which is a proper switch to display the document camera to the front of the room, let's place the document onto the document table so we can see what the students would see on the large screen. So as the instructor, I can place the object that I want to display on, onto the document camera, switch to whatever page it is that I want to highlight. You can use a regular highlight, come down through, highlight different areas and this is very good for the students because as you highlight things uh, students will be able to take notes and know whatever you feel is important so that's just an example and then whenever you're finished you can just remove the remove the document so that's a very quick overview of the document camera in future videos I'll be showing you some learning flows and some examples and some creative uses of the old style document camera mixing with some of the new tablet devices Thanks for watching.